It is way too hot to have anything on my face right now, but red lipstick is forever. <laughs> So to start this set off, you can see that the rollers are set in quite a specific pattern. So the most important ones are the front ones. I have a slightly off center parting and you can see that the two on my left side are pointing towards my parting. So they're rolled upwards. You have two of those rolls going down and then another one pointing up. Here are some of the things that you're going to need for this hairstyle. And I'm starting by taking out all of the rollers so that nothing gets snagged. Um, I will brush out the back last. Some people like to brush it out first, but I'm just going to take all of the rollers out and style the front section and then brush out the back. But you can do it the opposite way if you want. I found that that worked fine for me though. You can see those front two rollers are rolled just downwards as we normally would. And now taking that whole section of hair, including hair on the top of the head and um, from just behind the ear, I'm taking the roll and go hair tool. You can also wrap this around your fingers and I'm wrapping it around the largest end and rolling towards the hair to create a large victory roll sitting on top of the head. When I slide the tool out, I keep my thumb within the roll to keep that shape. And then we're just going to pin it. So I slide a pin from the front to the back going along my thumb and then I stick some in um, where the roll meets the head. Now you'll see that I have to adjust these so it's really trial and error. You can sometimes put them in and realize that they're kind of making the victory roll a funky shape and you don't want it there and you have to pull them out and start over again and that's fine. It's just trial and error, finding things that work for you. Um, I find that the mixture of having a pin in um, the inside of the roll and then a pin meeting where the roll meets the head is the best way to secure things for me. And that's a trick I got from the Lauren Reynolds videos. Then to give it the super sleek, smooth look, spray with hairspray and then use your comb to lightly comb along the surface of the victory roll. And this will stick down any of those little baby hairs and flyaways. You can also use pomade during the creation of the victory roll. Now taking that front section, I'm doing one little roll with the smaller end of the tool that I used before and I'm rolling it inwards towards the forehead and we're going to roll that up and pin it um, securely. Again sliding a pin in through the roll to secure it and then adding a couple of extras to keep it in place. And then with the section of hair on the other side of the head, so that I don't have to worry too much about symmetry because perfectionism is really annoying, I'm rolling it upwards um, so that it sits up rather than rolling it downwards. I find that this just creates a lot of visual interest, it looks really pretty. Again, I don't have to worry about things being perfectly symmetrical or the same, and I just really like how it looks. And I was literally making this hairstyle up as I went along, so I just, this is just how it ended up being. <laughs> with hairspray as well. Now we can take out the other piece of hair that we're going to be using for our victory roll number two. And again, just wrapping around the large end of the Lauren Reynolds roll and go tool and rolling in towards the scalp. I kept this one more in real time so that you can see how I'm doing it. Once 
once you've removed the hair from the tool, by the way, you can um, kind of adjust it and make sure that it's sitting properly before you start pinning anything down. Again, taking that mix of bobby pins going inside the roll and also placing them where the roll meets the head to secure it down nicely and also to maintain the shape that we want and smoothing down the flyaways with hairspray and a comb. Then um, to add a little bit of accessorizing, I'm putting two red flower hair clips sitting in where the kind of V is at the top of the hairstyle. Now you can just brush out the back to whatever you want. You can make it very fluffy. You can um, brush it all inwards to be a page boy style. You can do whatever you want. You could put a snood in it if you wanted to. It's really whatever you fancy and whatever you think looks best with the hairstyle. I decided to go a little bit fluffier than usual today. And this is the finished hairstyle. I hope you really like it. I have 21 minutes of me trying to improvise this hairstyle on the spot. Good luck to me for editing this. <laughs>